Hey everybody, this is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. Gonna be a pretty quick, simple tutorial on how to merge shapes in Adobe Illustrator. So on my screen, I have a square and a circle. Pretty simple, you can have more complex shapes than this, I'm sure you will. But if you don't know how to make a square or circle, remember there's a shape tool over here. Usually you'll see the rectangle tool. The shortcut key for that is M, and the shortcut key for the ellipse tool is L. So with the M uh, shortcut key there, you can make rectangles, whether they're like this or squares by holding shift. And then with the ellipse tool, shortcut key L, you can make ovals and circles then by holding shift. So we can make our shapes that way so that we have that covered. There you go. All right, so we're gonna merge these two shapes. So pretend like this circle, is I want it right here, maybe maybe we'll just line this up right there, and I want to merge these two shapes together for whatever reason. Now this works in a lot of different uh, cases, but I just wanna show you how to do this. Okay, there's, so there's a couple ways. Um, I'll show you how to fake merge it, and I'll show you how to merge it in two ways, one being my favorite. Let's start with my favorite shape builder tool. Too much talking, here we go. Select both shapes, so they're over the top of each other and I have them both selected. Now there's this tool over here that's got two circles and then a little pointer. That's the shape builder tool. Shift M is the shortcut key. So if I hit shift plus M, now I've got the shape builder tool and I can work with whatever I had selected. So I've got these two selected. Notice the shape builder tool sees all of the different areas. All I have to do is click and drag and it's like drawing this little dotted line and it selects the shapes that I'm dragging through and I let go and now they're merged. So they're completely merged together. Now two shapes, or one shape, can't have multiple fills. So now that this is one shape, it took one of the fill colors from uh, the two shapes that I merged. I think the one on top. So now we just have the single color. You can change that to whatever you want. But those guys are merged. I mean, they are together. All right, the other way you can do that, if I back up, I can select both shapes and then go up to Window, down to the Pathfinder options. This is kind of the old way. And in shape modes, there's one called Unite. And if I click that, it just merges those together, whatever I had selected. It kind of looks like it already over here. The Unite icon looks like two merged shapes together. Now there are different things that you can do. You can practice with some of these other, uh, other shape builder options, like for instance, minus front. Now that subtracts the front shape from the shape behind. So you can get all kinds of different effects. You can do similar things with the Shape Builder tool by holding Option or Alt to subtract pieces of your two shapes. Now the last part is like a fake merge. So let's say you wanted to keep these two shapes editable, right? You wanna keep them editable, but you wanna move them around together? I would recommend grouping them together. So if I select both, right click and go down to Group, I can group those two shapes together. That's also Command or Control G, depending on if you're on Mac or Windows. Now this group, if I just click on one of the objects, it's gonna act like a single object as I move it around. So it's stuck together like that. But if I double click, I go inside the group, notice this little uh, bar up here, it says layer one and then group, I'm inside the group, that's my isolated selection. And because I'm inside of it, I can now edit it, right? I can move this around, I can scale this circle up, and then when I double click outside of any of the objects, it's gonna go back to that top le level layer so I'm not inside the group anymore, and I can click and drag these around. So if you wanna keep them editable but kind of have them merged and also keep the colors separate, you can do it that way too. All right, so that's a couple ways to merge objects and shapes in Adobe Illustrator. If you were looking for more information, Comment down below and let me know and I can help you out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials and I'll see you next time.